Now, my next guest wrote to me desperately looking for help. She's humiliated by her breasts, and she says that they're destroying her self-esteem and they're ruining her life and her marriage. So explain exactly to us what you don't like about, about your breasts. Well, ever since I started growing, the areola was always bigger, not, you know, you would not grotesque, mm -hmm. but just compared to my breast size, they're not proportionate. And are you sad, depressed? When is it the worst? Just my marriage. Yeah. Tell me what's going on with, your, with you and your husband with this. He always says that they're fine, and, but it's it really, I know that they look terrible, old. I feel like they're just 80-year-old breasts. Dr. Calvert, how does the areola get puffy? Is it a medical thing or? Well, it's a, a lot of times people are born with uh, breasts that are, you know, this way. They, it can be that the areola has tissue behind it that's more prominent than usual, and it can create sort of a second mound on top of the breast mound, which is I what it sounds I know younger like. girls have that. I had that when I was younger. Like, right. Like, it's puffy when you're a teenager, and then it flattens out when you get older. Absolutely, and that, that's sort of normal, normally what happens. And mm -hmm. if it stays that way or the, the areola becomes larger, it, it can just look this way. And can you reverse it with medicine? With like None that I know of. No. Um, it sounds you know, more like it, it's a combination of uh, breast tissue and the size of the areola, but we'll, we'll have to see. Okay. Well, um, I know that Dr. Calvert, you, you think you can examine Absolutely. her? Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It'd be my pleasure. All right. Want me to go with you? Yeah? Okay. I'll go with you. We'll do it together. So how are we doing it, Dr. Calvert? Nice Fair to meet mind. you. I'll take good care of her, okay? Sure. Lauren, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is what we do in the office all the time. It's normal, and you know, if you're uncomfortable at all, you just let me know. You okay? And take my hand. Okay. I'll hold your hand. Yeah, it's right behind you, so and go ahead, and I'll just step oh. away while you, while you unbutton that. Okay, you all set? Great. What I want you to do is just, I'm just going to take a quick look. Okay. I'll tell you what we see. Okay, it's fine. Yeah, that's okay. I think, uh, you know, what I see is that the areola is probably about six centimeters in diameter, where normally you'd want it to be four centimeters or three centimeters is what we shoot for with the reduction. So it's, it's wide and it's, uh, you know, it's brown in color. And they can be bigger, that's for sure. I'm sure when you were pregnant, they were way bigger. They're bigger when but I think also what's happened for you is you've lost a lot of the volume of your breast. Is that correct? And so what's happened is the breast has become flattened and you've lost the, the normal breast volume and that makes the areola look even bigger. Because you said probably when you were pregnant it looked nicer, correct? For two days I you had looked nicer really for nice two breasts. Days? Yes. Two I was days. happy with my boobs for two days. Okay. okay. All right, we'll cover up now. All right, button you back up. All right, come on out here. So, um, Dr. Calvert, is, what, what do you think can be done? Well, I think uh, the first thing to do is really to do a full workup and do a full consultation so we can see what's possible. But so this is like a pre-consultation. Absolutely. This is, this is sort of an on-air on consultation, mm -hmm. but I think we really have to get a full medical history and really look at all the possibilities and, and just see what's possible because okay. there are a lot of options. Mm -hmm.